good morning. I've got a uh, very quick tutorial for you here. I uh, found this Metroid Rogue Dawn the other day, and I've been a pretty pretty large fan of the Metroid uh, series since I was very young. And uh, here we are. So now this exists on the internet, and you can download it, and you can play it, but you need an emulator, or you need a uh, whatever. You need a way to play it. So what happens is, this is what happened to me. I downloaded it this morning. I got this awesome zip folder, I, or file, opened it up, and it created this, this folder here. And it has Rogue Dawn IPS file. And I said to myself, what the hell is an IPS file? I have recently gotten into RetroPie and uh, the Raspberry Pi, and I've been trying to use it to play some fun Nintendo games, and when I saw this, I knew I had to have it, and I wanted to have it on the RetroPie. So there's a way to do it, but you have to use a patch software, uh, which is also available on this romhacking.net website. Um, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, and, and this is on a Macintosh. You download this multi-patch patching tool, um, and then once you download that, you have it here. So I have uh, done this, and it does, f in fact, work. So I'm going to get you through the first part of it here and just show you how I did this and what you're, what you're going to need to get uh, your unofficial Metroid prequel, Rogue Dawn, on your RetroPie in less than a few minutes here. Let's see. You need to have the previously downloaded ROM of Metroid. We'll start there. Okay. Then you have your multi-patch tool. You also need your Rogue Dawn IPS file. So once you have all three of those things, you're pretty good to go. I will open up the multi-patch tool. Can't be opened. Why is that? <laughs> okay, now it can be opened. Anyways, that's weird. So there's something weird, but it works for me the second time around. Anyways, you have your patch file, location of patch file, browse. You're going to go to your file that I just showed you. It's on the desktop. And it's Rogue Dawn IPS. That's opening. That's the location of patch file, the location of the file to patch. You're going to hit browse. And then you're going to go into this file that you had here, which for me is all the way in here. And the one that you're going to patch is the previously owned version of Metroid. Metroid USA NES file. Open. You'll know where yours exists. Uh, patch file. Location of the file to patch is the Metroid. And then you're going to save the patched file as put it in wherever you want it. I'm going to put it in the same NES folder that it just came from. Save as, and I'm going to call it Metroid Prime. Um, <laughs> wow, that's funny. Metroid Rogue Dawn. Save. And then you say apply patch. Finished. And toilet paper for some reason. The file was patched successfully. Say OK. Now that exists down here. I did it earlier, so I have two versions now, but you can see here. And that's it. So once this file exists, you drag it into your Raspberry Pi retro Pi setup, and I'm assuming if you're here, you've already done this before with other ROMs, and you know how to do that. I personally use CyberDuck, and I will uh, SSH into the retro Pi, into the NES folder that's in there, Home Pi, Retro Pi, ROMs, NES, and then I dragged in the Metroid Rogue Dawn NES. And now I can play it, and it works great. And uh, I just wanted to share that because it took me a little while to go around and find what to do with this IPS file situation. So thanks for watching, and uh, if this helped, give me a thumbs up or uh, say hello down in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's it. Happy, uh, happy uh, playing. There you have it.
And there you have it. I don't have two hands to give you any gameplay because uh, I'm using one film, but that's one. It functions. So there you go. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching.